this is huge for Wyoming County to have something of this nature and of um, this size as an economic development project in Wyoming County is, is tremendous for the entire county and for the village of Warsaw. But to see a project like this that has both the economic development value and the fact that it's a hotel, you know, to go from what was here to, to what we have now and what we can do and attract visitors to the area, they have a, a top-notch place to stay, you know, it's a high-quality property, uh, it's it's just the value is incalculable. But to go from what we had at this for you know almost a, 20 years um, with nothing going on to now we have a branded hotel in Wyoming County, it's very exciting. I think we're very pleased with how it turned out that it fits well into the community, that it looks like it's a part you know of the community. And and it's interesting when you're driving up to it or driving by it, it actually has the appearance that it's been here for quite a while. So I think when you put something in, you always you know, wonder how it's going to look. And I, and I think it, it fits very well in the community in Warsaw overall. Um, it, it's picturesque. And as far as the amenities go in the property, it's you know very, very modern. Um, I think guests will find a a uh, hotel that you know is something that you might find in any larger city or um, you know a resort area. I got here in August 1st of 2014 and was one of the first projects we started and we had hits and misses going along the way but uh, the IDA uh, paid for a um, really a survey to be done of the, how a hotel would uh, function in this community and it was outstanding. So we moved from there, we had different developers along the way. Uh, the site was picked, we had the Restore New York grant and uh, very fortunately we got a new developer to come in and uh, it was uh, uh, it was a, a million dollar Restore New York grant, which helped attract the developer, although he had already he already liked her so. And so Jim and I worked on this constantly to get it uh, where it is today. We actively marketed uh, for a hotel developer to come here based on the strength of the feasibility study that we did. And believe it or not, it was an old-fashioned direct mail postcard that uh, drew the attention of uh, the Indus Hospitality Group. So. Uh, that's really kind of how we found him, and we had the, you know, the, the site picked out as a prime site. And it was privately owned, so we had a privately owned party that worked with the developer. And as Bill said, there were all kind of pieces that come together. There's a restore grant, there's IDA incentives involved, there was a, an Office of Community Renewal grant of uh, half a million dollars that came in. So there was a lot of incentives to make this thing happen, and, and we're fortunate to find. Uh, the, in this hospitality group and uh, it couldn't be better for us.